This is a differential head manometer, which I'll probably screw up somehow. This is an ideal. This should be quite a bit further out on the lake, but I don't have enough tubing. Can no you get that? Should go. No, you don't need to. They shouldn't need to. It should turn off. What we did is, um, as part of the monitoring, in addition to the stuff in the lake, we also drove, uh, uh, used a little tiny drill rig on an, on an all-terrain vehicle. It's kind of cool. Um, and we uh, drove it out here and hammered in well points down to a depth of 100 feet. So we have a cluster here, uh, 10, 30, 10, 30, 70, and 100 feet below ground. It's just a little opening to these things. And uh, these are little tiny wells, for lack of a better word. Let's, uh, I hope so. All right. And um, what, we, what I've done is, uh, I'm trying to move this. Just to show you, we're in an outflow area. Tools. All right, we'll see if this works here. We've put one uh, tube down in the well, and hopefully we're deep enough. That's useful. The last person who did this couldn't uh, take the tube out. This tube gets shorter on every field trip. Almost through the knife. <laughs> okay, so this is just a little suction pump here. Now let's give this a try. We'll find out pretty damn quickly if this is going to work. Can you see the water coming up? Can anybody see that? How exciting! <laughs> Now, that's perfect. I couldn't have done that better on the first try if I wanted to. We'll let this last sit for a little while. Which one's in the aquifer? And which one's higher? Hey! Okay, so the difference in head is uh, somewhere around five centimeters. So the water level in the aquifer is higher than the water level in the lake by about five centimeters. So you have outflow. And in fact, if we, if we don't have time, but if you did well to well, what you find out is that the water level in the shallowest well is the closest to the lake, and the water level in the deepest well is the highest because, of course, flow is also moving up through the aquifer, and there's a head loss as you move up. So just like, you know, you take out a textbook and look at, you know, a flow net around a lake, and it would say as you drill near the inflow side of a lake, you should have an increasing head with depth that you can get outflow, and that's exactly what you see right there, that difference right there. Now, of course, the difference in this case here is also a function of the permeability because obviously if you had lots of confining layers, you'd have to have more push to get the water out. And if we have time, we'll show you that the cranberry bogs are very big head difference because it's having a hard time getting out of the bogs. But we used uh, this, we actually have a cluster here. We rented a barge. We have a cluster at 40 feet out and we have a cluster at 100 feet out and we have a cluster up on the shore and we actually have a head transect to actually draw one of those flow nets in detail to help calibrate our models. What's the distance from here to there? To where? Uh, I'm going to tell you 1,000 meters, 3,000 feet. The lake, is, the lake is about a half mile to a mile long. It depends on what direction you go. So that's kind of neat. Uh, you know, you see this in textbooks, and every time I see it, I go, wow, that's kind of neat. <laughs> then my wife goes, you're weird. <laughs> we brought our wives on our last field trip. They didn't come this time. <laughs> they were a little freaked out. <laughs> Leave that part at work. We haven't asked our daughters yet. These are prosometers. We call these prosometers. A prosometer is just a term for uh, a, uh, a way, a place you can measure hydraulic head. In fact, even the wells are prosometers in that sense. These have very short screens, just like a prosometer would. Um, and the reason why we use this instead of the big drill rig is because uh, ecologically, you know, a lot less damage to get in here. So that's it. You said you put these far out too. So yep. how, do you, how do you get how do you get them? Scuba divers. <laughs> we have scuba divers that come in. Show your tube down in there? So, uh, they, they actually put a connector and we bring a, a pipe to the surface temporarily. Uh, one of the agreements with the Conservation Commission is that we couldn't have anything in the water 
that was sticking up any distance because of concerns about people hitting it with boats and stuff. So everything had to be flush or close to it. So, um, uh, so this is an ongoing thing. Uh, we'll know in October how well it's working, and uh, uh, that's it.